Hey Panthers, I'm Alex Gonzalez. And I'm Haley Yates. Welcome to Panther News. Coming at you fast and loud from the Panther Studio, this is Panther News. Yearbooks are on sale now. Let's go to Fletcher for more details. Do you wish you had a yearbook to change? Well, today's your lucky day. Starting January 18th all the way through the 29th, yearbooks are on sale. Oh, my bad. For only $70, you can get a book to savor the memories of this crazy year. Don't miss out. Get a yearbook now. See this yearbook right here? This yearbook? That's what you need. You need to buy this. This is 2020. You need the 2021 yearbook. They're on sale right now. Buy a yearbook. As you may know already, MHS Theater is performing Frozen. Here's Chloe with all the details on tickets and a sneak peek of the show. MHS Theater is proudly presenting Frozen Junior. This musical is based off of the Disney movie with a few added songs and scenes. Here's a sneak peek of what you're going to see. dates are February 11th through the 14th. If you want to buy tickets, you will have to go online to mhs.teachyourself.biz. Please be aware that the auditorium is going to be at only half capacity, so only 400 people can go each night. We are hoping to have a live stream of the event so people can watch at home. It's going to be a blast. We hope to see you there. Shout out to our MHS Varsity Cheer Squad. They competed last week at the UAL State Spirit Competition against all 5A Division I cheer squads in the state of Texas. Although they fell short of a victory, they worked hard and did an amazing job. It's overflowing. If you have lost something during the first semester, please be sure to look before it gets donated to Mana House. You'll find the lost and found in the glass office in the Math Commons. As you may know, it's time to choose, course, choose courses for next year. We weren't able to have our normal course fair there is a way you can learn about all the courses being offered. Here's Julian with more information. This year, the course fair will be held virtually. Information about the classes can be found on the link. The slide deck itself shows all of the classes and what you can expect from the classes. New courses that will be added next year are Army, JROTC, a program that helps prepare students to enter the Army. Ethnic studies of Mexican-American culture and African-American culture, which goes over the cultures of Mexican-Americans and African-Americans cultures. Counselors have already given you a course selection sheet, and everyone's, no matter the grade, is due January 22nd. Go to and go Panthers. Today is an important day in our nation, Inauguration Day. Next up, we have Neil to share out the history of this day. Hey Panthers, as many of you know, the new president-elect Joseph Biden will be inaugurated and sworn into office as the 46th president of the United States. But what is the inauguration? The inauguration is a ceremony that marks the president's new term. It has been practiced for more than 200 years since George Washington was first inaugurated into office. An inauguration of a president gives us hope for the future and a vision for the future. Please be sure to tune in live to any local news network to witness this live event. Be sure to tune into this live event on Wednesday, January the 20th, to see President Joe Biden inaugurated. This past Monday, we were out of school because of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. MLK did a lot of great things for our nation, and we wouldn't be where we are today without him. Our Black Student Union has created a video that highlights him. They will be reading excerpts from his letter from the Birmingham jail. Let's watch. Oppressed people cannot remain oppressed forever. The yearning for freedom eventually manifests itself, and that is what has happened to the American Negro. Something within has reminded him of his birthright of freedom, and something without has reminded him that it can be gained. Consciously or unconsciously, he has been caught up by the zeitgeist. And with his black brothers of Africa, and his brown and yellow brothers of Asia, South America, and the Caribbean, 
the United States Negro is moving with a sense of great urgency toward the promised land of racial justice. If one recognizes this vital urge that has engulfed the Negro community, one should readily understand why public demonstrations are taking place. The Negro has many pent up resentments and latent frustrations, and he must release them. So let him march. Let him make prayer pilgrimages to the city hall. Let him go on freedom rides and try to understand why he must do so. If his repressed emotions are not released in nonviolent ways, they will seek expression through violence. This is not a threat, but a fact of history. Now let's go to Tanner with sports. Hey Panthers, I'm Tanner Baker with all your sports news. The Varsity Boys basketball team dominated Joshua 67-43 last night to improve the or to 5-1 in district and 14-5 overall. Milo was led by Cor Corbin Green, 17 points and 10 rebounds. OVA, 16 points, and Trevor Toby, 12 points. Next game is at fr our next Friday at home versus Ennis. Powerlifting will host their first meet tomorrow afternoon at home. Because of COVID attendance is restricted to athletes and coaches. We will be live streaming the event at nfhsnetwork.com. You can find all the events under Middle Athene High School. Back to you at the news desk. Thank you, Tanner. That's all we have for you today. We hope you have a great week, and we will see you Friday. Go to and go Panthers.